Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another 10 pens currently inked for this week. So I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. We have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal, we have the Visconti Wall Street Limited Edition, we have the Visconti Divina Metropolitan, we have the Visconti Camelot, the Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay, we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchens, we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Green Saft, and last but not least, we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Blue Le Royale. So I think let's go through these pens in a little bit more detail. This is the beautiful Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. And you can just see how well that that sparkles there. This is a, an Extra 1930. Montegrappa was founded in 1912. Uh, but this is a beautiful stacked celluloid pen and yes it is stacked celluloid there but the shiny lines is really beautiful you can just see how that sparkles now this is a shiny lines dove so it does have the shiny lines dove nib and this is an 18 karat gold number 8 size nib and it looks a little bit short and stubby because a lot more of this nib goes into the section there. But this for me is quite a nice size in my hand. I love how this writes. I like it's a piston filling pen. I like the size. I like the weight. Although typically I might like a pen that's a little bit longer in, in length. Uh, and maybe with a little bit longer section. But I do like how this pen writes. So... I have that pen inked up currently today, this week. I then have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 and this, like the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shine Lines Dove, is unfortunately long sold out like quite a lot of the pens I have in my collection. Uh, this is a again another stacked celluloid here and you can see there now this what Montegrappa would normally call this would be shiny circles but Visconti just call it a stacked celluloid. Uh, this really is a lovely material and I do like how stacked celluloid just sparkle like that. It is really nice. Now I have this with a 23 cap palladium nib and this is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib but again I like the size and the weight of these pens I do like the homo sapien range a lot uh, I do just find it very comfortable to write with for long writing sessions and for me it's just a win-win for me um, it's a power vac filler so it holds two and a half milliliters of ink with a double reservoir they just really do work well and then i have this one inked up and this is the visconti homo sapiens octagonal now i don't normally regard this as a homo sapiens because all homo sapiens from visconti that i have are round and they also have these silver double cap bands on them which this octagonal is an octagonal shape and likewise it has no rings here so i don't normally call this a homo sapiens pen but technically visconti have named it a homo sapiens so i'm a little bit torn with that because uh, i think it's sort of diversifying what the actual sort of brand is for the homo sapiens or, or the model is 
but still, I, I like it. It's a stacked celluloid pen. Um, I do like the octagonal uh, design element to this. I always thought that this would be uncomfortable. It's not. Um, like all of the other Homo sapiens, it does have the hook safe lock mechanism on it. And it has a 23 cap palladium nib. This is a broad nib. And again, I just like how it writes. I like the size in my hand. It just, for me, uh, works very, very well. And I have this one inked up, and this is the Visconti Wall Street, and this was technically made before these two. Uh, this is made in two different versions. There's a, a non-limited edition version, and then there's this limited edition, which is a limited edition one of 4,000, which is actually not that limited, but... It's still, I guess, it's a finite amount of numbered uh, edition pens. So technically, it, I guess it is a limited edition of some sort. Um, but again, it's a stacked celluloid, and I do love that stacked celluloid a lot. Um, it just works well for me. Uh, double reservoir there as well. And it's a 23 cap palladium, and this is a stub nib, a 1.3 millimeter stub nib. But I just love how that one writes. So, again, it's uh, inked up this week. And then, my trusty Davina Metropolitan. And I wouldn't normally go for one of these. Uh, this uh, was a gift to me from a friend, and I, I do like it. And I, I love the everything about it. Um, the only thing that... I do wish, and I know everybody that sees or has a Davina Metropolitan says, is that they wish it was the oversized Davina. Um, so for me, I do find that this is a little bit more on the shorter side and a little bit more on the thinner side here. Uh, I tend to write with it more up here or hold the grip around the sort of hook safe lock mechanism here on the body. Um, it does have a number five size nib, so that's again one of the downsides, at least for me anyway, on this pen. But I do like how it writes, so I can forgive all of that in a pen if I like how the pen writes, and and I do like how this pen writes. So for me, again, this is a, a nice pen, and I have this inked up writing with it this week. The next pen is the Visconti. Camelot and this still is a stunning pen you can see this here yes that is chainmail and yes that is a sword on uh, the pen as a clip uh, it really is quite an interesting pen and I love it I absolutely love writing with this uh, it's an 18 count gold nib and I'll show you that now um, but it really is a nice writing pen there uh, and this is a lovely medium writing nib and it's a, a wet writer as well and I do like the size of the pen and I like that it's a power vac it holds a lot of ink um, and it's not a double reservoir so it's around about one and a half milliliters of ink but it does it really actually I find it writes very well and I love, you won't obviously be able to tell this, but I love the texture of this chain mail here. You just rub your, your fingers or your thumb over it and it it feels smooth, but you can kind of feel the gaps. So it's smooth, but it has texture to it. I just love it. I, I love the pen. Um, it really is a great pen. So for me, that's another one I have inked up uh, this week. And normally when I ink that one up, I also ink up the Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay. And I got this pen after the Camelot, and it was, I think, probably about a year uh, on, maybe 18 months on. But this was a pen that I was after for around two years, and I couldn't get the pen. Uh, and then I was able to pick one up, and I do love this pen. Again, it's you've got the chainmail here, but it's a very different sort of chain mail and texture to it but you can see this is just a stunning pen it's a really really nice pen and it's not as heavy as it looks you think that this would be almost like cast iron in terms of weight but it's not that heavy honestly it's 
uh, a really nice pen to use. Um, it's got a 23 cap palladium medium nib on there. Um, it has a white feed to match the white section. But for me, this is just really nice. It is a power vac, not a double reservoir. But again, it holds quite a lot of ink, around one and a half, maybe two milliliters of ink. And then that is the power vac knob, which is a chalice there. So this is an interesting pen. It also actually comes with a sort of mini sword or dagger, um, which is a letter opener and also a very large ring as well. The next pen I have inked up is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra and this is the black and gold Luchens and this really is a beautiful pen uh, you can see there that it's actually semi translucent there it really is a stunning pen and I always think of um, honey or beehives when I see this pen because you see parts of black you see sort of honey or golden areas and also you see some see-through areas where you can see the pneumatic filler there as well um, so this is a pneumatic filler so it does have a sack in it comes with a uh, Armando Simone Club Magic Flex nib which is an 18 karat gold medium nib which tends to write more like a board I would honestly say but I do like this. I love this in the size of the hand. It just feels right to me. So for me, I do like this pen. And I have that one inked up a lot. And I have it inked up this week. And then we have this one, which again is another Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra. And this is the green saft. And this is uh, currently on loan to me from johnsonjohnspens.com. As well as the blue Le Royale as well that you'll see in a moment. But this is quite a stunning pen. And I do like it. I like these ASCs, the Bologna Extras. They really are nice size pens. Comes with the 18 cat gold Magic Flex nib there. And... I just like the size and the weight of them and the amount of ink capacity. So this uh, is, is a great pen that I have inked up this week. And then, last but not least, we have the other Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra. And this is the Blue Le Royale. And this is basi basically all of these ASCs are using Omar's material. Omas went under a number of years ago, but this is the uh, Royal Blue uh, that Omas used to use. So, again, this is a great color pen. It has an 18 cat gold Magic Flex ASC nib there. And again, I just love the size, the weight, the ink capacity. Uh, these pens for me are the right size and weight. And I know every person is different in terms of what size and weight that they like in a pen for me i like these pens um I, I just find that they they actually sort of feel good in my hand others may not like them because they're either too long or too heavy so or too girthy so um everybody has different tastes and i like larger pens and i tend to like more weightier pens so that's my currently ink pens for this week i think let's go and do a writing sample now so, the first pen is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. So, let's do an ink swatch. Now, this is quite a wet nib, although it is more of a medium nib. It is actually a medium nib, but it writes more like a, a western medium for me. So, this is the Montegrappa. Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove and it is a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Diamine Earl Grey which is a really nice grey ink that I do write with a lot. 
The next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90. So we'll do an ink swatch again. And this is a stub nib. So you can see it is quite a wide nib there. But I do like how this one writes. So it's a Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 and it is a uh, it's a, a stub nib actually so it's a, a 1.3 millimeter stub nib uh, and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is diamine majestic purple which is one of my favourite purple inks. The next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now this is quite a broad nib and it is a broad nib, it's not a stub nib but it is still quite broad for a broad and I almost consider it a stub nib. So this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal and it is a broad 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is uh, Pelican and it's Edelstein Topaz, which is a beautiful blue ink. The next pen is the Visconti Wall Street Limited Edition. So we'll do an ink swatch here, and this is a stub nib, so it is going to be quite wide. It's also actually quite a bouncy stub nib as well, which to be honest, I don't have that many of. So this is a Visconti. Wall Street limited edition and it is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib and it's a 23 cat palladium nib now I said I don't normally have many bouncy nibs they are of the stub nib variety on the 23 cat palladium nibs because they tend to be normally fairly rigid because of the amount of palladium that you have there uh, but this one is actually quite bouncy. Now the ink in here is Diamine Aqua Lagoon which is a very nice sort of turquoisey or tealy coloured ink. The next pen is the Visconti Divina Metropolitan so we'll do an ink swatch here again and this is a broad nib and I absolutely love this colour of ink I wasn't actually, when I bought this ink, I, I wasn't thinking that I'd like it as much as I do uh, I wanted a bit of a pink ink and this is a bit of a pink but it's more of a reddish or pinkish red but I do like it, it it's, it's a really nice coloured ink so this is the Visconti Davina Metropolitan and this is a broad 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Diamine Amaranth Am Amaranth Amaranth Okay, trying to get my brain into gear on that one, but that is a really nice coloured ink. The next pen is the Visconti Camelot. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, 
it's been a few days since I've actually written with this pen, so it is a little bit dry. Let me just flood the feed a bit. There you go. That's writing a lot better there. Obviously, nibs do dry up from time to time, especially if you've not written with them for a few days. So, this is the Visconti Camelot. And it is a medium 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is Mont Blanc Lavender purple which is a nice purple ink that I like the next pen is the Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay so again we'll do an ink sample here and you can see that this is quite a wet pen and I do like this ink because it shades quite well as well so this is the Visconti Jacques de Malay and it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is diamine Oh, grey which I also use in the Montegrappa pen. The next pen is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchens. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this I do find is quite a fire hose of a nib. You can just see it there, the amount of ink that that is putting down onto the page. And this is, I'm going to pre rate this, the ASC Bologna Extra uh, Black and Gold Luchens and it is a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is KWZ Honey the next pen here is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra and this is the green saft. So again we'll do an ink swatch. But this again is quite a wet nib. Just see it there. These are fire hose nibs normally. So this is the ASC Bologna it's the extra and it is the green saft and it is a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Aurora and Klinger And it's Alt Goldgrun. Then, last but not least, is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Blue Le Royale. So, we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is the ASC Bologna Extra Blue La Royale. And it is a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Akamon. Delft's Blue or Blur it's actually in Dutch it's Blur but it's actually a blue so let's just take a look one more time at these pens inked up 
we have a Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90 in a 1.3mm 23 cat Palladium Stub Nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Purple. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal in a broad 23 cat Palladium Nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Topaz. We have a Visconti Wall Street Limited Edition in a 1.3mm 23 cat Palladium Stub Nib inked up with Diamine Aqua Lagoon. We have a Visconti Divina Metropolitan in a broad 23 cat Palladium Nib inked up with Diamine Amaranth. We have a Visconti Camelot in a medium 18 cat Gold Nib inked up with Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. We have a Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay in a medium 23 cat Palladium Nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Black and Gold Luchens in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with KWZ Honey. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Green Saft in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Rora and Klingner Alt Goldgren. And last but not least, we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Blue La Royale in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Ackerman Delft's Blur. So there you have it, that's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.